This is the White's Company's Safety Simplified. So we're doing a safety series to show that anyone can be safe on the site. Anyone can learn safe practices. I know nothing about working on the job site because I work in the office in the marketing capacity. And so I'm here with Emma today to learn about proper PPE, the importance of it, and how we can wear our PPE equipment on the site correctly. Hey, Emma. Hi, Emily. All right, uh, so walk me through how I should be putting on my PPE. I'll do it with you. I know you already have yours on, but talk me through, like maybe we should start with our boots. Okay. So first thing is you wanna have a six inch hard toe yes. work I boot. I got that. That Looks good to me. Okay. All right. Next thing I do is I put my vest on. All right. I'll do that next. Is there a reason for that? Just Not preference. Just preference. Okay. Yeah. Because in the winter time, if you put everything else on, I feel like the vest is like hard to get on with a coat. Yes. So. Yeah. Okay. Zipped. Zipper up. Just so it doesn't get caught in things. Yep. Good. Next, I put my glasses on. Okay. I have glasses. I do have a visor on my helmet, so. So when you're inside a building mm -hmm. and you're working inside, we recommend or we say wear clear glasses. Yes. If you're outside, you can wear tinted or shaded or you can wear a transition like I have. Fancy. Okay, okay. What, what gloves are, you are on or? No, I don't have gloves on yet. Do I do that next? Go ahead, put your, go ahead, put your gloves on. Okay. So here we're on the type cut, cut level four gloves. Are mine okay? Yeah, those are good. Okay. It says right there. Okay, that's A4. how you tell. A4. Yes. A4. A4, okay, good. we're good. Next, okay. you put your type two class E hard hat on. And we have different hard hats. What's the difference between our... Uh, mine is a full berm style, where yours is more of a bicycle rider style. Yeah, I'm used to this. So with these, yes. the type two is has a four point adjustable chin strap. So make sure it's always adjusted of about two fingers in between yep. is good. And these protect the tops, the back, and the sides of your head. And I wanna make sure this is nice and tight in the yep. back with the... Yep, you can adjust it in the back. Yes. And just like that. We're and we're now. ready, this is it. We're ready. Okay, tell me some of the other things that you keep. I mean, you're a safety manager, so tell me a couple of the other things that you keep so on your vest. So for electrical practices, I have my lock and my tag is in one of these pockets. So when we do lock out, tag out, I have that there. I have got a set of keys for multiple different things. Yes. Gen keys, fire extinguisher keys, restroom keys, and then obviously my key for my lock. Um, pens, always need pens. People always steal pens. Um, I just have an additional glove hook here. So in the winter time, if I carry my thicker gloves, I can just hook them on here. Um, I've got a flashlight and yeah, notebooks in case I take um, some notes or whatever, but great. That's yeah. awesome. Thanks for explaining that to me. I feel like I can do this again on my own. No problem. It's easy. Yep. That's right. Safety simplified folks.